Duluth on a five-game win streak, looking for win number six in a row. We start late in the first, Duluth down six to three. Ella Brisbois has a penalty shot. She'll shoot and score to make it a two-point game. And now we go early in the second quarter, Wolfpack trailing by four. Lightning take a shot from right in front, but the goalie, Lily Bruno, is there to make the big stop. And a few minutes later, it's Nia Kramer with a quick toss over to Maggie O'Brien. She drives towards the net and scoops one in down low to cut the deficit 2-3. And that's just where the Wolfpack would begin to heat up. Less than a minute later, Grayson Shipper feeds it to the one and only Ella Brisbaugh, who finishes the job. The Wolfpack will find their way back ahead and finish on top with a 19-11 win over Eastview Egan for their sixth straight win. And then we head to Duluth East for the boys Wolfpack taking on the Hill Murray Pioneers. We start the action in the first quarter. Pioneers Nicholas Meyer moves behind the net before wrapping it around in front, shooting high to low to beat the tender and give Hill Murray the early lead in this one. Now the Wolfpack trail by two. Senior Gabe Blacksick finds Hayden Floor, who fakes me out with that move before firing a rifle of a shot into the twine. Cuts the lead in half to two to one. Now on a 30-second man advantage for the Wolfpack, and they go around the world with the ball. Pass, 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 until Palaxic finally decides to shoot. Good idea for him as he ties us up at two goals apiece. But the star tonight on the field was Emmett Johnson for Hill Murray. He sco scored back-to-back -back goals in just under a minute in the second quarter to give the Pioneers a two-goal lead, and they'd never look back. Hill Murray leaves Duluth with the win, taking this one 12-5. And finally, we head over the bridge to Superior where the Spartans hosted Grand Rapids Greenway. We go to the second quarter where the Spartans trail 2-0. Hunter Hansen finding Lucas Williams, who then finds the back of the net. A shot in the corner gets Superior on the board. Five minutes left of the third quarter now. Owen Stark playing catch me if you can. He'll take the shot and it bounces past the goalie, Henry Hall, and into the net. Thunderhawks extend their lead to 4-1. Same score with the clock winding down in that same quarter. Joseph Seely passes it off to Aiden Kilduff, and the junior waits no time, whipping it through the five hole for the buzzer beater. Thunderhawks add another goal in the fourth and head home with a six to one win over the Superior Spartans. And still